This video is meant to be for entertainment purposes. I'm not responsible for you getting upset or annoyed because you did not get an official Gary's Mod 2 release. I'm an enjoyer of both of these games mentioned in the video, and I enjoy talking about and also playing and covering the video for the sake of informing and entertaining. You have every right to your opinion, but that doesn't mean your opinion is not open to being criticized for the sake of being on the internet. Nobody's forcing you to play the games mentioned in this video, and nothing is stopping you from playing them either. Once again, I'm not responsible for you getting salty or upset. If you are, please go outside and enjoy the weather or touch grass. It's not that serious. From time to time, I've gotten tons of comments from people wanting a Gary's Mod 2 or rather frustrated about this not being a reality. Obviously, there's a huge demand from the Gary's Mod fan base to basically get a modern version of Gary's Mod for a very long time. But unfortunately, <laughs> oh shit. Some folks within the sandbox community are already taking matters into their own hands and it's really starting to show some of the promise from developers and modders within the community. So today we're going to be talking about two specific things relating to this topic within sandbox. But of course, if you don't know what sandbox is, check this video in the top right corner of your screen like right now, please. I'm giving you as much time as you need. First up is Sandbox Plus. I've talked about Sandbox Plus more in depth in a recent video, which if you really want to see, you can end up seeing it right here. To summarize, Sandbox Plus is a game on Sandbox where it enhances the vanilla version of the Sandbox game that was developed by Face Punch. To note also within this video, while it has been rumored at, apparently Face Punch is possibly thinking of scrapping the Sandbox game mode entirely to recreate it again. Sandbox Plus was created by Nebule, and I was lucky enough to have a quick conversation with Nebule, the creator of Sandbox Plus, and also the Wire Mod game and add-on currently on Sandbox. In our conversation, we pretty much talked about this specific topic relating to creating a quote unquote Gary's Mod 2. And from that, Nebula mentioned, I started Wirebox back in 2021, but it got burnt out trying to build an add-on system back when Gary absolutely did not want one. Facebunch added basic add-ons in September of 2022, but the later removal of the add-on menu from Facepunch's Sandbox misled a lot of people, including myself, as to what was possible for Sandbox. The engine is quite powerful, the base game mode just needs to support it, which is where Sandbox Plus comes in. I think a fair bit of the resistance to building in Sandbox from Gmod devs comes from that, plus the surrounding discourse of Gary says he does not want a Gmod 2, though we do, Gary is anti-add-on, or in general, Gary's vision for Sandbox does not include what made Gmod 1 great. Personally, I'm pretty sure those of us who want Gmod 2 can absolutely build it in the current state of Sandbox, even if Gary has broader goals. Hence my community engagement, but I understand hesitation. So as you can tell, there is a want and an interest for some developers coming into Sandbox to create something like this. And I think this is really cool to do. In some ways, it feels like it's kind of meta, honestly. Having a style or aesthetic of a game that you created inside the successor of the game you're creating currently, it just seems confusing, but you get what I mean. Sandbox Plus provides an alternative on the game that feels like it's creating its own sub-community in relation to making Gary's Mod 2 that personally I'd love to see. This is also somewhat a solution to a lot of folks who actually want this. While it may not be stamped with the official seal of face punch approval, it still seems like it's actually worth looking into. And it also leads into the roots of the creator of the Gary's Mod game itself, as it is a modification of the Sandbox game. Next is Gmodify, an add-on created by Carson, creator of Home, another game I've covered on the channel. Gmodify says exactly what it does, which transforms the default vanilla sandbox UI into the classic Gary's Mod UI. Of course, it's a bit more upscaled in size and also changes the look when searching for models on Asset.Party and entities as well too. Pretty much this is like a theme add-on. While it won't specifically transform your entire game, this does seem like a wonderful add-on to build alongside the Sandbox Plus game. Speaking about that, combining these two things, it was also mentioned by Carson that currently as of this video, you're not able to download the add-on within Sandbox Plus since it doesn't work. Work. And even though you can add it as an entity in the vanilla version of the sandbox game for it to work, when you do try the same thing in Sandbox Plus, basically you're unable to move and also you're thrown out of first person. So it's being worked on, but very much a no-go at this moment. Eventually down the line, it will be worth it with both games. So keep that in mind if you want to add more of this aesthetic to your game. If there's anything that you can take from this specific video, either as a new viewer who has no idea what Sandbox is, but is rather interested in this, or for folks whom already have access early, but want to also create their own version of this specific style within the Sandbox game, it's very much possible. And also, a great solution and a grand argument for some folks who really seem not happy or upset that they didn't get exactly what they expected with Sandbox being announced. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely check out this video about Sandbox Plus, the game I mentioned, and thanks for watching.